Okay, this first game, this round of 16 game, is going to be uh, Cloth 5 Mechanics versus Team Ham and Cheese. Uh, the chat bands were posted in the Twitch TV chat a little bit ago. I have to get those copied down and placed into the overlay. Uh, sorry for being a little bit late on the show, but like I was saying a moment ago, XSplit updated and I lost every single scene in XSplit and had to remake them all before the show, which was a little bit obnoxious to do. And it's not capturing my client window for some reason. Hey, well, I wouldn't beat a minute without technical issues, would it? Let me get that uh, fixed. Capture the client window. There we go. Because there's nothing that loading and unloading a scene can't fix, right? So we have uh, Cloth Five Mechanics as the left team, and we have Team Ham and Cheese as the right team. Bands are all on the screen. Get the names updated in the titles for you. Looks like uh, Sony being the first pick, Zyra and Pantheon following in afterwards. Zyra, a really powerful champion in this game mode because of her zoning ability. And Pantheon, always a solid pick, does a lot of damage. Uh, having a nice targeted stun is also a good thing to have on your team. Plus, gold map presence because of Grand Skyfall makes for uh, good times typically. seeing Gragas being picked up. Now, I know Gragas was changed recently. There have been quite a few patch changes. I haven't necessarily been able to keep up with every single one of them due to not really having been at my house uh, much in the last eight weeks. But I uh, heard a lot of changes to his ability power ratios, uh, making him a little bit less bursty crazy than he used to do. There we go. Where'd the chat bands go? Where'd the chat bands go? What? I need to add those again. Okay. Well, the chat bands disappeared from the screen for some reason, despite already having been loaded. Sorry about the technical issues, guys, but this most recent update is determined to uh, make me unhappy with my life and the way things are going. Let's see, okay, there we go. Chat bands were... Italy, Heimerdinger, Jace, and Biz. Get these put down at the bottom of the screen. There we go. Alright. This is going to be the round of 16 game, first game of the tournament. Uh, this week, and almost through all the picks, uh, we're going to see some spells that we don't normally see if they decide to lock these all in. Let's see, Nidheimer, Jace, Fizz, I got that right. You know? And Nidheimer, Jace, Fizz, cool. Everything is correct so far on that. And now we're at the Spectator Delay, so we can take off the Summoner Spell Blockers. And we can see what's really going on. Well, some of these spells have art. When we take a look, we see a lot of ghosts being used, a lot of ignites being used. Ignites a solid spell over on the right side. Uh, we see attempting to pick every summoner spell possible. Uh, with two ghosts, two flashes, one garrison, one heal, a second garrison, and ignite another ghost. And there's Maokai to revive ignite. Uh, looking at possible bottom lane matchups here, um, Brand, Gragas, or even Mao could go down there. Let's, uh, okay.
Okay, whoa. Not that button. Not that button either. Here we go. Uh, look on the other side. Possible bottom lane champions we could see. Um, hmm. Nothing jumps out at me in particular. Uh, I know Olaf bottom lane is something that's happened occasionally. And uh, we see Zyra down there once in a while as well. But nothing really leaps out at me as being a bottom lane hero. So I don't know who they have set up to do that. Also, for um, anyone who's not familiar with me, anyone who has not uh, seen the Dominic Dominion tournaments before, uh, Saturday nights, uh, tournament night every other week where uh, Feedski is doing something else, and uh, we get to have a uh, competitive debating here on the stream. Uh, I am Gander of the Gaming Clan, Vato Clan, doing the commentary for you, and Feedski is doing, uh, who knows what, it's his day off, so uh, let's not ask too many questions, shall we? Uh, so this first game, again, Claw 5 Mechanics versus Team Ham and Cheese is around a 16 game. Also, I want to say big, big thank you to all of the subs and uh, all the people that have been watching Feedski's stream, uh, I was watching his stream the other day. He got uh, he got some cool donations, a bunch of subs and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I've been working with Feedski since 2011, and to see his stream become as successful as it is today is just really freaking cool. And I'm so glad that he's you know running these tournaments and he's doing a whole bunch of streaming, bringing a lot of attention to himself and the channel, and a little bit of attention to Dominion as well is really really cool. So, Feedski, you are awesome. Thanks for putting on this show, and thanks for just being a really cool streamer to watch. Alright, we're going to go to the in-game. In just a moment here. Oop. As soon as we get to the loading screen, then we'll see if that is captured correctly as well, or not. Okay. And it looks like it is! Hooray! This one, okay. Error loading title. Well, that's not a good thing to have occur. Okay. Alright, so this round 16 game here. Cloth 5 mechanics on the left. Versus Team Ham and Cheese is going to be on the right. Cloth 5 mechanics' team is consisting of Arcade Sona being played by Verdi, Maokai played by Ethereal Lunar, Riven played by Ohai Rhyme. Apocalyptic Brand played by Rar Push and Gragas played by Ryan4213. They are the team Cloth 5 Mechanics. On the opposite team, uh, we have Haunted Zyra being played by The Shikari. Pantheon played by Relica. Full Metal Ramus played by Zons. Victorious Elise played by The Sheedan. And Broloff played by Atsigan. And their team is Team Ham and Cheese. And I am one out of one of your commentators. I am Gander of the Gaming Clan, Vato Clan, and I am not quite by myself because you all here are with us hanging out today. So, yeah, they are a all-diamond team, by the way. Let's see. There we go. So we have to make this smaller. Come here, stream thing. There we go. No, it got too big. Dang it. Okay. There we are. Now, I don't know how well the in-game audio is going to be balanced against my audio. Uh, I was tinkering with it a little bit last night, but I don't know if I got it quite right. So if things are a little bit imbalanced, go ahead and let me know. I appreciate any of the stream feedback that you guys could give. Can I take a look at the starting builds? Uh, things seem a little bit crazy. Prospector's Idol is pretty much nowhere to be seen on Cloth 5 Mechanics' side, which is something that is uh, a little bit out of the ordinary. Uh, over on the other side, we're seeing some uh, boots, a couple Prospector's items, and we also see boots of mobility being bought on a Ramus. 
uh, which could give him a very large amount of movement speed. If he does a lot of aggressive roaming, uh, that can come in very handy for him. However, if you're not doing a lot of very aggressive roaming, those boots are kind of going to go to waste. So it looks like we are going to have this occurring in the bottom lane. Four people heading on down to the bottom part of the map. It looks like at least it's going to go there first. It looks like they're going to take the strategy of gank bottom really hard at the beginning of the game, which is something we see occasionally uh, in competitive play, but it's not too common. And they're actually just going to drive right past that. And they're going to go ahead straight across over to the refinery, and they're going to plow three people into that instead, which means they should get a pretty easy pickup here on Sona. They are going to sacrifice the windmill in exchange for it, though. And it looks like Maokai is on his way down from the windmill. Uh, after uh, having helped his team pick that up, Zyra is hanging out up there in the top part of the map. Middle point is going to go neutral. And that point is going to get turned over and not quite able to get there in time to do anything about it. Uh, putting a lot of damage on Pantheon there, but he is able to flash away out of range. Is he going to die to that Blaze debuff? No, he's going to live with 39 health and be okay. Brand now retreating away. Is not going to be able to escape unfortunately, and Zyra takes the windmill while that is going on, having pulled all three members of the team uh, down away from the windmill. If uh, one person had stayed behind in order to defend that, Zyra may not have been able to get it. The Riven down the bottom being taunted by Ramus. A bunch of damage being put on her by at least. She may be able to Riven hop away, and it looks like that is what's going to happen. It's just a little bit of dash, a little bit of broken wings as she gets up towards the platform. Bottom tower going to be turned around for a 5-cap in favor of Team Ham and Cheese's team. Defensive garrison being thrown down over here, uh, interrupting any capture that they had going on on it at the, at the time. Uh, Zyra has pretty good zoning ability, but I don't think she can 1v3, especially not at this stage of the game, uh, with not having 6 and not having a wound blitz, so she is probably going to be defeated here shortly. There we go. She does fall down to Grogus there, Verdi trying to retreat, uh, get back a little bit away from Pantheon, because now there's one spear shot away from being dead, and so needs to free trip back to the platform. Kaiser Esk, I'll adjust the game sound. Alright, let me know if that's any better. We have Olaf being taken down there, Broken Wings being thrown out towards at least, but not quite able to connect, unfortunately. I'm gonna go one on one here against her. At least turns around, gets the stuns, finally do a little repel up out of the way of the airborne from Broken Wings. Not gonna take that damage, and at least is going to pick up the kill. Uh, landing that KB. And Sona, able to help uh, finish off at least there. Ramus is going to retreat. Can't quite go uh, 1v2 against those two. So now have one tower under their control. Uh, they still have plenty of time to actually be able to come back in this game. Uh, Dominion, though, it's never, uh, never completely over until the uh, Fock actually strikes down to zero. Pantheon going to be picked up down there. They're going to turn that point around. Grogus by himself at the refinery. This one's set just a tad higher. We'll go a tad higher. We'll go to 72 there and see how that treats you. Ramus. Oh, with the taunt on Sona. Tremor's activated. She is going to be able to float away. Brand hanging out down here in the bottom, at least dangerously close to him. It looks like Brand is going to get picked off. Ram is not even needing to powerball and deliver that. At least have that completely under control. No one down here at the bottom lane. Sona is actually heading up towards the top part of the map. Not going down to the bottom to try and contest that at all. It looks like Riven, who was further away, is going to be the first one to respond to it. Sona following suit thereafter. Sona could have already been down there at the tower already. But unfortunately, not. And the tower is going to be captured. Sona going to be take, taken down there. Riven can't 1v3 that, so she wants to backs up, waits for Brand. Brand needs a little bit of poke going on instead. Stun on Riven. No, she is going to be able to get away before uh, Elise is able to finish her off at all. Now, meanwhile, pressure on the refiner to turn the point there around. And they're going to pick that up. Gragas over here by himself, sectioned off away from his team. His retreat path completely cut off. He's not going to be able to get out of there. Four people moving up to the top, but there's still no one down there at the bottom part of the map in order to try and uh, contest Elise's control over it. But Brand is going to head for the Storm Shield. 
in the center of the map? No, it looks like he's just going to walk across the center of the map, walking through vision by the storm shield, something you generally want to avoid doing, because that reveals his position to Elise, who, as you saw, started walking up from the bottom lane. So they are able to kill a couple of people there, but Elise coming up, lands the stun, is going to be able to take down Maokai. Riven has to retreat from there, and now Elise with the defender's advantage should have a pretty good fight up against Ragas if Ragas does decide to die for her. Now, Bran, having walked through that vision in the middle of the map, told them, hey, I'm going to be on the other side of the map. See his team that was dead coming back, responding to that happening. Ram is here zoning Bran away, while Pantheon just hangs back and recovers the drill for them. And Cloth Fly Mechanics, the... They don't have enough time left to uh, capture uh, everything that they need in order to be able to get the Nexus Health Drain stopped. They might barely be able to do it if Brand get that bottom tower back, and then they can follow it up by winning a team fight up in the top part of the map. Brand is going to get the neutral. So they have to sweep up to the top and turn over a refinery, or the game just stops right here. Brand being dead, unfortunately, is going to make that very, very difficult for them. However, it's only Pantheon up at the top. Nope, that flash play getting on the tower. He's going to do a stall. They're going to recapture the bottom, and the game's going to end in favor of Team Ham and Cheese's team. So there's just not enough time left over to capture the necessary points that they would need to stop the Nexus Health Drain in time. Also, for any new viewers, no spoilers in the chat. We understand there is a spectator delay, but please be considerate of the people watching the stream. was the game one of the tournament for this week. I'll take a look over at the post-game lobby here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and find uh, which game we're going to be casting next and switch over to that one. So uh, please hang around, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're going to have the round of eight game coming up for you shortly.